This is Prince Stanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. The voice to Israel and for Israel. In the last podcast, I discussed Future News Now, Part A. Now I'm going to tell you about what's going to happen after the previous things we discussed hit the earth. Remember we talked about the two prophets who prophesied for three and a half years in Israel, and then the beast out of the bottomless pit killed them. And we talked about how their bodies were lying in the streets for three and a half days while people sent presents to each other. They were so happy that these two prophets, or really, literally street preachers, were dead that they gave gifts to each other like they do on Hanukkah and Christmas. But after three and a half days, the Spirit of God, the Ruach Elohim, entered the body of these two prophets. They stood on their feet, and a voice from heaven said, Come up here. And all people, all of the earth, witnessed this. Now let's talk about what's happening after that. The devil, Satan, or Satan, hates the people of Israel because it was through Jewish ancestry or family lines that Yeshua was born. Also, it was the sinless blood of Yeshua HaMashiach on the cross that defeated Satan. Yeshua was born of a virgin by a miracle of the Ruach Elohim, the Ruach HaKodesh, as foretold 750 years before by Ishawahu, the prophet, the prophet Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. You can check that out. Therefore, Messiah's blood did not contain sin from Adam's seed line because Messiah's blood was holy. He was born by a miracle from the Ruach HaKodesh. He was God in human flesh. Messiah's blood has good credit in heaven and has paid for all of our sins. Pray, ask Mashiach into your life. There will be a time of great persecution for the Jews in the future, worse than the Holocaust in Nazi Germany. It will last for three and a half years, 1260 days. A leader will come from the area of the Mediterranean, either Europe, North Africa, or the Middle East. He will be from the geopolitical arena of either the European Economic Community, the European Union, or a confederacy of Arab nations, or a combination of either. This leader is called the beast in the Bible, or the creature. This coming world ruler is the anti-Messiah. The prophet Daniel spoke about him in chapter 9 in the book of Daniel, in the Tanakh. This coming world ruler dies from a head wound. Then his wound is healed. People who do not know Messiah Yeshua will worship the devil for giving power to the beast. Then a false prophet comes into prominence from Europe, North Africa, or the Middle East. The false prophet will be the religious head of the one world order. He deceives people all over the world through miracles that he is able to do whenever the anti-Messiah is there to watch him. He makes people worship the anti-Messiah, and the false prophet makes an image or the statue of the anti-Messiah. This false prophet gives life to the image and makes it speak. All that do not worship the image are killed. People whose names are not written down in the book of life of the Lamb will worship Satan and the beast. Make sure that your name is written in the book of life of the Lamb. Pray, ask Messiah Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach, God's Lamb, to become Lord of your life now. The anti-Messiah will formulate a one-world system. There will be a one-world religion, a one-world money system or economic system, and a one-world government. It will be a cashless society. No currency, no credit cards, no checking accounts, probably using things similar to the RFIDs that are coming on the market now, radio frequency IDs, which will soon take place of the universal product code. The false prophet will be able to track you wherever he wants to. 
your surroundings, your purchases, your travels through the use of implants similar to RFID chips. The false prophet, who will be the religious head of the world, forces all people to have a mark placed on their right hands or their foreheads, or an implant similar to an RFID chip. Trade and market transfers, that is buying and selling, small or great, local or international, young child or adult, will be conducted via transactions enabled by RFID chips or similar. RFID Radio frequency ID chips are already in the marketplace, being used by such stores as Walmart, Target, United Colors of Benetton, Gillette. These RFID chips will contain a unique number known as the EPC or the Electronic Product Code. They will soon replace the present barcode numbering system, the UPC or Universal Product Code. The false prophet, who will be the religious head of the world, forces all people to have a mark placed on their right hands or in their foreheads. This mark, or implant, will be an RFID chip. No one can buy or sell unless they have this mark. The mark is a name or the number that stands for the beast name, that is the anti-messiah, the antichrist name. The name of the world leader has the numerical value of 666. Warning. When this appears, God's wrath will be poured out on all who take this mark. Warn your friends and your relatives not to take this mark. It will possibly be a microchip, as I said, or an RFID implant, or something similar. All who worship the beast in his image and who receive this mark will be tormented in fire with no relief forever. A great seaport city, symbolic Babylon, will be destroyed by the beast and by ten leaders of nations. These ten leaders, these presidents or kings, will be given authority to rule at the same time with the beast. In one hour, the city will be completely destroyed by fire. There are seven ways that you will be able to identify this city in the future. Number one, it will influence world trade. Number two, it will deceive all nations by its witchcraft and narcotics. Number three, it will rule over the leaders of the nations. Number four, it will be responsible for murdering Christians and Messianic Jews. Number five, it will cause leaders and people of the nations to be influenced with immoral lust. Number six, it will be a key distributor of pornography, sexual trade, and idolatry. Number seven, it is a seaport city. This future seaport city that will be destroyed will be a center of Muslim economy and Islamic ideology. It is likely that a city named Babylon will be built and that the Persian Gulf dredged to accommodate a shoreline for this future city in Iraq or somewhere in the Middle East. There will be seven extra outpourings of immense wrath from God during this three and a half years. First, there will be malignant swords upon everyone who has the mark of the beast or the creature and who worships his image, his statue. Next, the oceans become like blood of a dead man. Everything in the oceans dies. Then the rivers and springs of water become blood. This judgment is because people have killed many of God's holy people and prophets in the past. Next, people are scorched with great heat and fire from the sun. They curse God. Then darkness over all the kingdom of the beast happens. People have great pain and sores, and they gnaw their tongues because of pain. They still curse God. The Euphrates River is dried up to prepare a way for the leaders of the East, including Middle East leaders, to draw these leaders into battle. Amazingly, demons come out of the mouths of the dragon, Satan, and the creature, the beast, and the false prophet to gather the leaders of the nations in battle against the Lord, Yahweh, at the mountain of Megiddo in Israel, the real Armageddon. A 
that giant earthquake, the largest ever in history, will split the city, the symbolic Babylon, into three sections, and cities around the world fall in ruins. Islands will vanish, and mountains will fall. There will be a hailstorm with hailstones weighing a hundred pounds falling on people. Yeshua, Israel's Messiah, the Mashik bin David, comes to set up his 1,000-year kingdom on earth. The evil creature, the beast, and his false prophet are thrown into the lake of fire for eternity at the start of the 1,000 years. Satan, Satan, the dragon, is bound during these 1,000 years, except at the end when he's thrown into the lake of fire to be tormented forever. Are you ready? Pray and invite Messiah Yeshua into your life now. The Holy One of Israel loves you so much, my friend. He gave his only son, the Mashik ben Dovid, Messiah Yeshua, for you. He shed his life's blood, the blood containing the life of God, because he was born miraculously through a virgin birth. Man had no part of his birth, so his blood is holy and contains the life of God and can more than pay for all the sins you've ever done or will do. His blood bought you, and now he's waiting to make your life an abundant life and one blessed of God to be a blessing to others. Ask the Holy One of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, to reveal to you if Yeshua is really your Messiah. And if he does, then receive Messiah, receive Yeshua into your life, and be super blessed. Obey God and let the power of the Lord invade the earth through you. And this is Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. Baruch Abba, Adonai.